welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome thank you for being a part of the fam and subscribing to my channel I really appreciate the support and from all my supporters and followers I really appreciate you guys so so much and for today I wanted to show you guys how to create this beautiful fall makeup look with this beautiful wine dark um, vampy color lip I don't know what you call it wine vampy but it's pretty much a deep burgundy maroon shade um, this really really screams fall fall is one of my favorite times of the year I love um, pumpkin pumpkin flavored um, drinks or pumpkin pie pumpkin cheesecake I just love it all I'm a huge fan of pumpkin pumpkin bread oh my god it's so good um, pumpkin spice lattes hello like Starbucks is life <laughs> My husband makes fun of me for always saying pumpkin spice lattes. Oh my god, I love Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to create this beautiful fall makeup look for you guys. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure before you leave to subscribe. Subscribe right now to my channel if you are not subscribed already. Make sure you hit that bell so that way you guys get all the notifications on when I upload. And thank you guys for all your support. And let's go ahead and get into this fall inspired tutorial. First, I'm going to start off by moisturizing the skin. And today I'm going to be using the Belief Aqua Balm. This is so good and so hydrating. I've been loving this moisturizer. It just makes my skin feel so smooth and hydrated. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. For primer today, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is the Skin Smoothing Primer. I really love this primer because it really blurs out your pores and makes your skin look really smooth and flawless. And for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is in the shade 3W1 Tawny. Now for brows, I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Brow Wisp Pencil and I'm going to be going in with a little bit of pomade. If you want to see how I do my eyebrows, um, the link will be right up top or you can go to my videos and check it out. It's my latest video. So go ahead and check out my eyebrow tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. And this is just for the sake of the video so it's not too long for you guys because my videos sometimes be way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this off camera and I'll be right back. So now that my brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the shadow. And today we are throwing it back and using the Morphe palette. This is the 35F Fall Into Frost palette. This is like my one of my favorite Morphe palettes. This has shimmers and mattes and we're going to do something warm in fall today. So for the transition shade, I'm going to be using this warm shade down here. Now keep in mind, Morphe palettes don't have any names. The only one that has names on it is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. She included names and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that color. I'm just going to be pointing to the colors. Now to deepen up the crease, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Taking this warm mocha shade, we're going to be using this in the crease as well. And then I'm going to take that first brush that I used and we're going to kind of blend this and soften it up a little bit. And don't worry about it falling right here. We're going to go ahead and clean all of that up. Now I'm going to be taking my NYX eyeshadow base So 
now I'm going to be taking my flat synthetic brush. This is uh, the brush that I love to use for packing on color. This is the Morphe M167 brush. This is a must-have in my brush collection. And I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some setting spray just to get the brush a little bit wet so the product or the shadow will be really vibrant. And for the lid today, I'm going to be using this warm shade in the corner. This is a nice shimmery orangey brown shade. You sit right on top of the base. It's a nice pretty golden copper. If you don't wet the brush and you use just like a fluffy brush to apply that, it's going to come out really um, soft and shimmery rather than being so vibrant and metallic like it did. So now I'm going back in with that warm mocha shade and we're going to go ahead and put that in the crease just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer and this is in the color Light Medium and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the eyeshadow and also conceal the under eyes. I'm also going to be cream contouring with this Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer first. Now for baking, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier, this is the translucent powder. Guys, I have stepped up finally from Airspun. I love Airspun, but I tried this and I've also been loving this. Um, everybody and they mama been using this powder and I have just been late on this. So I picked it up at Ulta and I gotta say, I really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and bake with this. It's just really, really um, finely melded. And it's just really, really soft and smooth. I just love the finish that it gives. And it also just, it just feels so smooth. Like whenever I touch underneath my eye, it just is really smooth. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I think that's how you say it. But this is in the shade Deep. And I love this bronzer and the best part about it is it smells like chocolate. Now for the shadow on the bottom lash line, I'm going to be taking that same color we use in the crease, 
this warm mocha brown shade and we're going to go ahead and put that on the lash line using an angled brush that right on the waterline or not on the waterline right underneath the waterline and then just connect it with the outer part that we smoked out and then do the same for the other side Now just taking a small little fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking the shade that we use for the transition shade and we're going to blend that out a little bit so it has a nice seamless blend. Just right under there. Which is just going to look really pretty smoke, smoked out. Now for blush, I'm going to be using the Morphe 9N palette and we're going to be taking this middle shade right here and I think I'm going to mix a little bit of this shade as well. And we're just going to pop that on the cheeks right on top of the contour. And today we are skipping the wing. We're going to go ahead and go straight into the lashes. I'm doing everything backwards today for some reason. Usually I do my lashes, mascara and all that before I do my face contour and everything else. I don't know why I'm just doing everything backwards today. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, apply mascara, and then pop on some lashes. The lashes that I'm using today, these are from eBay. These are the ones that I always use. And I will link that in the description box. So that way you guys can check it out if you guys are interested in purchasing. I don't advertise for them or make money off of them. I just like to tell you guys what I use and where I buy it. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to go ahead and take a black eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Unstoppable Crown liner and I'm going to go ahead and put this on the waterline and on the top waterline to further blend in these lashes. Just right up there. And before I put mascara on the bottom lashes, I'm going to go ahead and spray some setting spray and we're going to go ahead and highlight the face. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the color Molten Gold. Guys, I've been using this nonstop, and this has been my favorite drugstore highlighter. I've been using it in like every video. But I just love the, um, the how like glowy it is and intense, and then the gold pigment just love it like it's not too gold but it's not too light it's just the perfect golden shade for my skin tone and it pretty much goes with everything Put a little bit on the tip of my nose and a little bit on the cupid and a little bit on the chin I'm also going to take a small little um, pointed brush and put some right in the corners. Now I'm going to go ahead and set everything in place using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is my favorite setting spray. This holds my makeup all day long and um, makes my face look nice and flawless and oil free.
Now I'm going to be taking the Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a little sample size that I got for a little gift from Ulta. And I'm going to go ahead and coat the bottom lashes and a little bit of the top. For the lips today, I'm going to be going in with a gorgeous fall color, and this is the Kylie Jenner um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Leo. This is a throwback to one of her vampy colors that she came out with. And for the liner today, I'm going to be using this NYX Suede Pencil. This is in the color... Copenhagen. I tried to look for the liner that came with this liquid lipstick because I did purchase it as a set but I couldn't find it anywhere so I'm going to just um, go ahead and go in with this NYX one. And here is the finished look. I am loving the bronzy golden shades, the orange tones, the brown tones, the vampy lip. This is what makes me super excited about fall. All of these autumn colors and yeah, I get really excited over the holidays for October, November and December. Christmas time is my favorite time of the year. Fall is one of my favorites as well. So I'm super excited for all of this pumpkin stuff to come out because I love me some pumpkin. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up for me and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. More videos are to come so you don't want to miss out. Go ahead and click that little bell next to the subscribe button if you guys want to stay updated on when I come out with videos. That will, guys, that will help you guys out with staying tuned whenever I upload. So thank you so much for watching and until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye. Ooh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me. Ooh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do.